students now we are in the chapter of circles which is lengthy chapter in 2b in the chapter in previous class we have completed exercise 1a theorems proofs concepts depends upon 1a everything completed examples and sums also now let us going to discuss about the concept of exercise 1b before going to discuss the exercise 1b let us know about notations notations regarding the chapter circles from today onwards the entire chapter whatever the notations now we are discussing the notations are very useful yes here s is equal to circle equation s means x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c that is s notation next s1 s1 means here xx1 plus yy1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c in objective in first year we have discussed that for the second degree general equation a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 v x plus c we thought that s is equal in object we discussed that we discussed that a x x 1 plus h into x y 1 plus y x 1 plus b y y 1 plus g into x plus x 1 plus f into y plus y 1 plus c here there is no h that is why no need to write h into x y 1 plus y x 1 that is why the notation of s 1 is x x 1 plus y y 1 plus g into x plus x 1 plus f into y plus y 1 plus c next one s 2 s 2 is equal to x x 2 x 2 is equal to x x 2 plus y y 2 Plus g into x plus x two, g into x plus x two, plus f into y plus y two plus c. If we put yes one two here, I think you observed here. Whenever x one is there, simply we substituted two x two. Whenever y is y one is there, we have substituted y two. Yes one two, yes one two notation x one x two. Plus y one y two plus g into x one plus x two plus f into y one plus y two plus c. Now yes one one yes one one means here in this equation substitute two r instead of two you can substitute one. So x one into x one you can say here x one square x one square plus y one plus y one square plus g into x one plus x one. You can write here 2z x1, 2z x1 plus 2f y1 plus c. These notations are very useful until the end of this chapter and end of the geometry. So from today onwards, you should remember the notations. Now depends upon <coughs> notations. We are having secant, tangent, length of tangent, power of point, locus like that. The concept is there. Everything, whatever the concept we are going to discuss now, the the concept everything depends upon the notations. Now let us discuss about the power of point. Before going the going to discuss the power of point, the circle I am writing a point like this. The circle divides the plane. The circle divides the plane so the plane means wherever the circle lie on the plane the plane the circle divides the plane into three parts the circle divides the plane into three parts like this put here p put here q put here r so what did you observe the point p is Outside of the circle, 
the point q is on the circuit the point r is inside the circuit so the circuit is dividing the plane into three parts first one outside second one on the third one inside so i am writing here like this that is three parts first one exterior or outside exterior of circuit example p second one on the means the circumference of circuit the point lay on the circuit that is circumference of the circuit third one interior of the circuit interior of the circuit the circuit divide the plane into three parts first one exterior third second one circumference third one interior to calculate whether the point lie inside or outside or belonging to circumference of the circle we should going to discuss about a theorem that that is called as a power of the point the power is called as cp square minus r square I am writing here power of point. Power of point. For a circle, S is equal to zero. For a circle, S is equal to zero. Having center C. Having center C radius r, radius r. If P x one comma y one is any point, if P x one comma y one is any point in the plane of the circle, any point in the plane of the circle. any point in the plane of the circuit in the plane of the circuit then cp square minus r square then cp square minus r square is called as power of point cp square minus r square is called as power of this is a definition for two marks if paper he wants to give in tough manner he can give this type of definitions also no student will concentrate on such definitions so whatever the definitions are there and whatever the small points are given in the textbook you should read it carefully and you should verify the points while going to the examination if paper is tough nobody student will get 75 out of 75 if you should not concentrate such definitions on such definitions e is called as power of point here so let us discuss about this power what is the cp square minus r square okay let draw circle here let the circle is s is equal to 0 c is equal to the circle is s is equal to 0 means this is whatever the notation i said x square plus y square plus 2z plus 2y plus c equal to 0 this is the circle notation if p i have written p here p x1 comma y1 the point p x1 comma y1 is outside and the point p x1 comma y1 this is cp students try to understand that this is if a point q here this is r c means for the standard notation of circle c is minus g comma minus f so cq is equal to r right and px1 comma y1 px1 comma y1 is an external point external external point of a circle s is equal to 0 now we can write cp square minus r square 
cp square minus r square what is cp square here x1 plus g whole square x1 plus g whole square so root of x2 minus x1 whole square minus y2 minus y1 whole square here we can write x1 plus g whole square plus y1 plus f whole square minus r square what is r square here g square plus f square minus c we know that the formula that implies we can write here x1 square plus y1 square x1 square plus y1 square plus 2 g x1 plus 2 f y1 plus g square plus f square x1 square plus y1 square like this and it cp square minus r square i am calculating x1 square plus y1 square plus 2 g x1 plus 2 f square plus g square plus f square minus g square minus f square plus c here What did you say? What you can say? G square, G square get cancelled. F square, F square get cancelled. So you can write here C P square minus R square. C P square minus R square we got as X one square plus Y one square plus two G X one plus two F Y one plus C. So some staff or some students. We try to understand that C P square minus R square is nothing but S one. Here, why did you mention the letter S R? S one one is the notation of your X one square plus Y one square plus two Z X one plus two F one plus C. It is the notation of S one one. So C P square minus R square S one one depends upon the the point whether the P x1 y1 lies inside or outside on the circle depends upon the formula s11. Here, just it is visible directly that you can see here P is the external point. P is outside. Outside means positive, so greater than zero. If s11 greater than zero, we can say here point P lies outside of the circle. If P next if it is zero here, it is nothing but next you can say here. C P square is equal to R square because if P here, if P get here, C P is equal to R, then C P square minus R square is equal to zero. You can say that S one one is equal to zero. If S one one is equal to zero, the point P is lying on the circle. If the distance, if the point becoming inside, so I mean the distance is reducing. Whenever the distance is reducing, if you put inside P here, then you can say that it is less than R. Now, I am going to discuss with you that here, here C P greater than R. So whenever C P greater than R, C P square greater than R square, C P square minus R square greater than zero, then S one one greater than zero. That's all. Like that condition I made. Whenever if P is here, C P is equal to R, C P square minus R square is equal to zero, S one one equal to zero. Therefore, the point you can say ultimately. Lay on the circle. If P is inside of the circle, then you can say C P less than R, then C P square minus R square less than zero. Then S one one less than zero. Whenever S one one less than zero, you can say undoubtedly that the point P lies inside the circle. Now, let us write the all three points. This is the power of point. So power of point is nothing but C P square minus R square R simply S one one. We can put side in formula, and using this formula, we can decide the location of points with respect to circle R, position of point with respect to circle. We can put side in position of point. Position of point with respect to. W R T means with respect to a circle S is equal to zero. Position of point with respect to a circle S is equal to zero. Then 
वन फर्स्ट पॉइंट पुट पी हि पी एक्स वन का मई वन पुट सेंटर सी हि सी वेदर देंटर सी जीरो जीरो आर माइनस जी का माइनस सफ आर एनी पॉइंट एक्स टू का वाई टू लाइक दैट यू कैन पुट सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू नाउ दिस इज आ This is R. Here P is outside. Whenever P is outside, undoubtedly you can say that the point distance between center and point is greater than R. So you can say here C P greater than R. Whenever C P greater than R, you can write C P square minus R square. That implies if I F of you read because. If it is lies outside S one one greater than zero, and if it is S one one greater than zero, the point P lies outside. If S one one greater than zero, P X one comma Y one lies outside of the circle. Our exterior point of the circle lies outside of the circle. Outside of the circle S equal to zero. Second case. <coughs> here put you C here C and this is P. Of course this is a C this is P R. So C P is equal to R. Whenever C P is equal to R by squaring both sides you can write here C P square is equal to R square. Now you can write C P square minus R square is equal to zero. The term implies. Now I am writing if I F F. If s11 is equal to zero, then p x1 comma y1 lies on the circle, on the circle or circumference of the circle. This is outside our exterior. Within the brackets, you can write exterior point. You can write here circumference point. On the circuit point. Third one. Third one. Put C here and this is P. That's all. This is a full radius. So what do you think here? C P less than R. Whenever C P less than R, by squaring both sides, you can write C P square less than R square. Whenever C P square less than R square, you can write C P square minus R square less than zero. Then that implies you can write if I F F means if and only if, if and only if S one one less than zero, S one one less than zero, P X one comma Y one, the point P X one comma Y one lies inside of the set. Lies inside of the circle. Or the name is interior, interior point, interior point. This concept is known as position of point with respect to circle. Whether the point lies inside or outside or on the the position is called as position of point. The concept is called as position of point with respect to a circle. Okay, now. We have discussed about this one. Yes, one one. The position of point depends upon the yes one one. Now let us going to discuss about secant and tangent. Secant and tangent. Put side in secant. If a line, I mean straight line, L equal to zero. If a line intersect, if a line intersect the given circle, if a line intersect the given circle in two distinct points.
if the line intersect the given circle in two distinct points then the line l equal to 0 is called as the line l equal to 0 is called as secant draw diagram This is L equal to zero. This is L equal to zero. If the line L equal to zero intersects in the circle in two distinct points, this is nothing but secant. That's all. Secant. So many secants we can draw. Secants can also intersect. This is the straight line. This is L two equal to zero. This is L one equal to zero. Like there are so many secants we can draw. Simply a line intersects the given circle in two distinct points. It is called a secant. Next, the difference between the secant and the card. What is the card? Here you write if a line segment. It is not a line. If a line segment joining any two points. If a line segment joining any two points on the circle, if a line segment joining any two points on the circle is called as a chord, is called as a chord. The what is the difference between chord and secant? Secant is a straight line which has no ends. And the card is bounded about the two points on the circle. So A B, this is a card. Simply, this is card. That's all. Here, this is a C D. This is a card. That's all. This is a card one, and this is a card two. Don't get confused that card is a secant and secant is a card. Card one, card two. Only. A B is a card and C D is another card. This is line segment and this is a line. This is secant. So what is that? Now I am going to discuss with you tangent. First of all, I want to write. Before writing the definition, I want to discuss with you the difference between secant and tangent. Secant and tangent. The secant means here. By drawing this diagram, I want to discuss with you something. Let this is L one equal to zero. This is intersection. Next, let this is L two equal to zero. Intersecting like this. This is L three equal to zero. Next, this is L four equal to zero. Draw like this. This is this one. This is tangent. L five equal to zero. Sir, so what is the difference between secant and tangent, and what is the use of secant and tangent? Now, what we have done, what we want to learn. So, you should try to understand that. I have drawn here four lines. Four lines. I put the names L1, L5 lines. I put L1, L2. This is L4. L1, L2, L3, L4. The if we are thinking the L1 intersecting the circle at ABC, AB, and L2 at CD, and L3 at EF like that, and this is GH. This is simply I. What is happening? The distance is becoming reduced. Maybe this is seven units. This becomes six. This is five. This is four. Like that. at last, what happened? The two points is approaching as one point. The two points becoming one point. So it is nothing but whenever you are drawing a secant line, secant. You should not let you use pronounce the letter secant. Then you are drawing a secant. If you are drawing a secant such that the secant intersecting two distant points on the circle. Whenever secants are reducing, what is 
secants are reducing lengths lengths of secants are reducing and going to in one way what is one way here if two roots are there the two roots becoming a root yesterday i said that regarding quadratic equation if quadratic equation having two distinct roots if the, if the line is tangent there will be no real two real roots even though they are having two real roots the two real roots will be becoming equal in a single root so here i want to discuss with you that it is reducing so limiting is there what is the limiting going going in the way at last the line touch the line touches the circle <coughs> so where the line touches the circle depends upon secant line we can conclude that limiting point of secant line is tangent this is the original definition students limiting point you write here limiting point of secant limiting point limiting point of secant is a tangent of a circle of course for any curve limiting point of secant is tangent that's all in other way we can say that again put side it put side it in here tangent later you draw the diagram and write the definition write the definition and once again in another way i'm saying the definition if p comma q are two distinct points on the circle if p comma q are two distinct points on the circle if p approaches q if p approaches q and q approaches p otherwise vice versa we can write if p approaches q and q approaches p otherwise vice versa p approaches q vice versa the position the position of secant the position of secant is called as tangent what is the position of secant it is going to p is going to q and q is going to p i mean the distance between p and q is reducing and becoming a single point that is the position of that the secant is called as tangent in another way in simple definition i say now the simple definition the simple definition of tangent this is even 10th class 9th class also you can write the line which touches the line which touches exactly at at one point the line which touches exactly at the one point of the curve you can write in first year now we are just going to discuss about circle then you write here circle the line which touches exactly at the one point of the circle of the circle is called as is called as tangent is called as tangent the point is called as the point is called as point of contact the point is called as point of contact draw the diagram like this draw the line this is p this is going to touch the circle exactly at one point the p x1 comma y1 is this is a point of contact here p x1 comma y1 is point of contact and the line wherever the 
लाइन टचेस एक्जैक्टली एट वन पॉइंट दैट लाइन इज कॉल्ड एज टेंजेंटेड बी एक्स वन कॉमा वाई वन इज कॉल्ड एज पॉइंट ऑफ कांटेक्ट हियर नाउ टेंजेंट कंप्लीटेड लेट अस गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट वी कैन डिस्कस अबाउट सीक्वेंट रूल सीक्वेंट रूल put side the secant rule the secant rule will be useful in level 1 objective if p x1 comma y1 is an external point p x1 comma y1 is an external point of a circle s is equal to 0 P x one comma y one is an external point of a circle. S is equal to zero. If it intersect, if the circle, if the line intersect the circle in two distinct points, if it intersect the circle, a circle if P x one comma y one is an External point, the circle x equal to zero. If we a secant, we should write as like this. If we secant passing through, if a secant passing through, passing through p x one comma y one intersect. If a secant passing through P x1 comma y1 intersect the circle, intersect the circle in capital A comma capital B, then P A dot P B, P A dot P B equal to yes one one. This is the secant rule. Draw diagram. Join. The line here put P P x one comma y one P x one comma y one here you can put Y here you can put B depends upon the parametric points of straight line parametric points of straight line we are having x is equal to x one plus r cos theta and y is equal to y one plus r sin theta what is the r The distance from the given point to whatever the point we are thinking. So P x one by one is there. This is a point. Maybe circle the point which is lying on the circle we generally think as x comma y. So let this is R one. I mean, a point is R one unit distance and B point is R two unit distance from P point. On the circle. Now, let us going to write like this. Let A comma B are two points. Let A comma B are two points on the circle. On the circle, which are R one comma R two units. Which are R one comma R two units from P. R one comma R two units from P. X one comma Y one. R one comma R two units from P. X one comma Y one. That's all. That implies you can write now P A is equal to R one comma P B is equal to R two. Let that. Equation of circle. Let the equation of circle S is equal to x square plus y square minus r square. Students, notation. I said that notation about large circle. I mean having center minus g comma minus. G. Now notations here also you can write using x square plus y square minus r square also. 
x square plus y square minus r square means it is a circle having center 0 0 and radius r here x square plus y square minus r square is s and s11 is equal to xx1 plus yy1 minus r square like that you can write xx2 x s2 modern xx2 plus yy2 minus r square and S12 you can write as X1, X2 plus Y1, Y2 minus R square. S11 is equal to X1 square plus Y1 square minus R square. Separately this, right? this is not belonging to this theorem. Notations for notation is it. Generally we can use the, the circle having minus G comma minus F. The equation becomes x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2f plus c equal to 0. Theorem will become lengthy. So whenever you take this set class, no problem. There is no any bothering. So, but easily we can get this answer. So whenever uh, proofs are there for theorems, I used to take this circle having center 0, 0 only. There will be no problem. We can get now s is equal to using and using parametric equations of straight plane using parametric equation of straight planes x is equal to x1 plus r cos theta and y is equal to y1 plus r sin theta so depends upon this x1 y1 using that x and y points we can write the templates from one put here one from 1 I am writing. Instead of x you can write x1 plus r cos theta whole square plus here you can write y1 plus r sin theta whole square minus r square equal to 0 that implies. Now I am writing this one as x1 square plus r square cos square theta plus 2rx1 cos theta plus y1 square plus r square sin square theta. So better to take, this is also r, so letter r should not be, so x1 square plus y square is equal to a square we can take. If you take here x square plus y square minus a square equal to 0, here we can write minus a square, it is better. Now this is 2rx a square plus b square plus 2a model completed, r square sin square theta plus 2y1 r sin theta, 2y1 r sin theta minus a square equal to 0. If we are taking common, this is this is r square cos squared and r square sin squared are taken common. We can write here r square into cos square theta plus n directly we can write r square into cos squared theta plus n directly I am writing plus r I am taking common. Then we can write here 2x1 cos theta. 2x1 cos theta plus 2y1 sin theta. Yes. 2x1 cos theta plus 2y1 sin theta plus here you should try to understand that you can write x1 square plus y1 square minus a square equal to 0. That implies you can write here r square. r square plus r into 2x1 cos theta. 2x1 cos theta plus 2y1 sin theta plus students try to understand that notation s1 here I said x1 square plus y1 square minus r square for the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square. So here you can say that s1 1 equal to 0. Now you write here this is a quadratic equation in r. This is a quadratic equation in R. Let whenever quadratic equation is there, it is having two roots. Let R1, R2 be the roots. Now you write product of roots. 
for the quadratic equation, product of roots you can write R1 into R2. R1 into R2 is for the quadratic equation using the formula C by A, you can write S11 simply. Here I written directly that PA dot PB is equal to S1 concept. Here I written PA means R1 and PB means R1. So distance between a point P and A on the circle and distance between the point P and B on the circle. So PA, that is, therefore you can write directly PA dot PB is equal to S11. Students, this is for objective I said, the proof. Don't forget the formula. Of course, formula is important. That is why I said the proof also. Formula of secant rule is PA dot PB is equal to S11. Level 1 bits in M set, you will be getting such models. I think 4 or 5 sums are there. Depends upon this formula. Using this secant rule, now we are going to discuss about length of tangent formula. PA dot PB is equal to S11. Side heading length of tangent. Description and writing. If write like this, A implies and by implies. Means A approaching B. A implies, A approaching B. Secant becomes a tangent. Secant becomes tangent. Write like this. Put like this P here, A here and B here. Whenever it is approaching like this. So secant becomes tangent. Draw like this now. Put only one name. P A. That's all. So we know that you write here. We know that just yes, now only using any circle, not only if the circle having center 0, 0, the circle having minus z comma minus f, the circle center minus z comma minus f, the circle having center h comma k, anything you can say that P A dot P B is equal to S11 is second rule. P A dot P B is equal to S11. Here there is no P, I mean there is no B. So A is approaching B. So you can say here P A dot P A is equal to S11. So you can say here P A square is equal to S11. Therefore P A is equal to root S11. This is the formula. Hence I am writing here. Hence length of tangent. Length of tangent PA is equal to root S11. You pronounce three or four times, students, the formula length of tangent PA equal to root S11, length of tangent equal to PA root S1, length of tangent PA equal to root S1, like that. You pronounce it, you write, you should know the formula properly. Very important, two mark sums are there. Depends upon two mark sums and locus sums are also are there. That is why. I want to discuss with you some examples. Examples I am giving homework to you students. Depends upon this one. Exercise 1B. Depends upon exercise 1B. Depends upon this concept. Exercise 1B is there. Do examples as homework and for a model one some I say. Now let us going to discuss about exercise 1B. Exercise 1B. First, first round, first round. Locate. Locate the position of point. Locate the position of point P. 
third question I am saying. Locate the position of point P four comma two. Four comma two with respect to circle. With respect to circle S is equal to x square plus y square. Here two x square here. Two into x square plus y square minus five x. Two into x square plus y square minus five x minus four y plus minus three equal to zero. Whenever x square coefficient having any num x square coefficient having other than two, you should divide with the number it is called as standardization. Given yes, you write. Given yes means divide with the two. X square plus y square. Minus five by two x minus two by minus three by two equal to zero. Next given point, given point P x one comma y one is equal to four comma two. Write the notation s one one. S one one notation is x one square plus y one square plus two z x one plus two f y one plus c. So it is nothing but the point substituting whatever the point is given substitute in that given set. That is how you will be getting the answer. Here four square means sixteen plus four minus y four is twenty by four. Y four twenty y four is twenty by two. It is minus ten minus two is a four minus three. By Next power he is asking. <coughs> Find the power. Find the power of point. Power of point of P two comma four. W R means with respect to circle. This is fourth one. With respect to circle. With respect to circle, he given as x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12. So substitute the point. Simply yes one one. There is no question of representing greater than less than also. Simply whatever the value you are getting, if you are getting minus 3, simply you write negative. You are getting zero, you write null or zero. If you get it is a positive five or six will be positive. That's all. Power is positive or negative or zero. Now you write the value. That's all. Yes, one one. Substitute here. S one one notation already I written as x one square plus y one square plus two x square plus two f one plus c. Simply the value substitute here. You will be getting as four plus sixteen minus four to the eight minus six for the twenty four minus twelve. So four sixteen twenty. 20 and this is negative. 20 minus 8. This is 32 minus 12 minus 12 minus 24. Less than negative. You write. Right. That's all. Now let us going to discuss about length of tangent. So Roman number one third question. Using length of tangent some simple. Roman Roman number two. I'm saying. Roman number two length of tangent formula root x one one you can carry clear that term. Roman number two first and second and third. Roman number two first you write if length of tangent these are two marks I M P question. This one and second one also. Length of tangent of circle x square plus y square 
प्लस टू के बाई इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रम फाइव काम ऑफ फोर इज वन फाइंड के रघुवल आई सेड दैट रिमेम्बर द फार्मूला लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट फार्मूला रूट एस वन वन सो यू सब शुड दिस फाइव एंड फोर हियर फाइव स्क्वेयर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस सिक्सटीन प्लस टू फाइव इधर टेन के इक्वल टू वन हियर यू राइट नाउ यू कैन राइट स्क्वेयरिंग बोथ साइड्स This is 41 plus 10k. So no, no, it is 8k because y time is there. It is 8k. So 8k, 25 plus 16, 41. 8k is equal to minus 40. If you come up for 25 plus 16 plus this is 8k. Equal length here. 5, 8k equal to minus 40. K is equal to minus 40. Second question. In the same model, yes, circle I am writing and in length also. Circle S is equal to x square plus y square. X square plus y square minus 5x. Minus 5x plus 4y plus k. Equal to 0. From the point he given as 2 comma 5. Length equal to root 37. Find k. Again you write the formula length of tangent. Length of tangent equal to root s1. Whenever he given as a of of experience 2x square plus 2y square like that, then you should write in the standard form. Otherwise, no need to write in standard form. Root S11. Students substitute the value 2 comma 5 here. So this is a 2, 2 square 4, plus this is 25, and uh, 5 is a 10 plus k. No. Again, this one also is there. Plus 4, 5 is a 20. 20 plus k is equal to the length he given as root 37. This is root produced like this. This is 29 minus 20, 49, 49 minus 10, 39. 39 plus k is equal to 37. Therefore, k is equal to minus 2. This is most ambiguous term. Plenty of times he given in IPE as most IMP to marks question. Plenty of times he given in IPE. Next depends upon this length of tangent one locus sum is there drama number three first question drama number three first question this is the four marks IMP question drama number three first question four marks IMP first one if a point P if a point P is moving such that lens of if a point P is moving such that lens of tangents drawn from drawn from P to circles x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12 equal to 0 and x square plus y square plus 6x plus 18y plus 26 plus 18y plus 26 equal to 0 are in the ratio are in the ratio 2 is to 3 are in the ratio 2 is to 3 find the equation of locus of P find equation of locus of P let us going to discuss 
this sum. If a point P is moving such that length of tangents, draw a circle like this and draw another circle like this. Put a point P here, let the point P is a locus point x1, y1. Length of tangent to first circle is a t1 and length of tangent to second circle is t2. So the ratio he given as pt1 by pt2 is 2 is to 3. Solution I am writing let px1 comma y1 be any point in the locus. Already we lent in first year. px1 comma y1 be any point in the locus. Next condition. In the first year model only I am saying now condition pt1 by pt2. So, what is t1? Tangent point. pt1 by pt2 is 2 by 3. That implies by taking cross multiplication, let me repeat, 3 pt1 equal to 2 pt2. By squaring both sides, we can get now 3 pt1 square, 3 pt1 square is equal to 4 pt2 square. Originally this is IMP 4 marks in IPA, but the object is sum is also there, it ends at 1 mark, so directly we can write 9 pt square, like this 9 into x square plus 4 into x square, 5 x square, verification option like this will be getting. 9 pt1 square, that implies, what is pt1? Here this is first circle S and this is second circle S dash, like that. 9 into you write T1 means for first circle. You write here this is first circle S and otherwise you put here S1 equal to 0 and S2 equal to 0 for first circle and second circle. This is the, you write in your notebook that given circles S1 equal to 0 and this is S2 equal to given circles S1 equal to 0 and S2 equal to 0. So, 9 into first circle you write like this. X1 square. Because I am thinking as P X1 now I is locus point. 9 into X1 square plus Y1 square minus 4 X1 minus 6 Y1 minus 12 is equal to 4 into X1 square plus Y1 square x1 square plus y1 square plus 6x1 plus 18y1 plus 26. That's all. That implies by expanding that one terms taken this side, you can write here 9x1 square minus 4x1 square plus 9y1 square minus 4y1 square minus 9 for the 36x1 minus 24x1 later 9 6 are 54y1 minus 4 8 are 72 y1 next 9 into 12 this is this is y1 students 72 y1 minus 9 12 are 108 minus 4 into 26 4 6 are 24 to 4 to 8 to 104 equal to 0. So you can write here therefore required equation of locus. You can write here. Required equation of locus. Required equation of locus is 5 into x square plus y square. Because 9x square minus 4x square, 9, this 5. This is also 9y1 square minus 4y1 square. 36x1 and 6, 24x1, this is 60x. Minus this is 126y minus this is 212 equal to 0 is the equation of circuit. You can observe that. 5 into x minus y square. Here x square by f is a 5 and y square by f is 5. There is no x y term. X term is there, y term is there, constant is there. Then it is of the form x square plus y square plus 2x plus 2 f plus c equal to 0. So it is nothing but a circle. So locus of, like this you can write. Locus of p, this one also is circle.
ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास आई सेड दैट डेफिनेशन पोजिशन आफ पॉइंट लेंस आफ टेंट एंड थीरम सी कैन रूल टैंजन रूल ऐ से दीरम्स एंड सम्स आलो कंप्लीटेड यू डू द होम वर्क example 1 example 2 3 page number 29 and whatever the sums i left in exercise 1b you do i am thinking that from my end exercise 1b completed okay tomorrow we can discuss the concept of exercise 1c